this about the Black Lives Matter movement. Many of their things I agree with, by the way. Police reform, blah, blah, blah. We, we all know this. Be a little skeptical of a movement where a lot of the leaders are avowed Marxists, in their own words, they say that, but it's being supported by J.P. Morgan and Citibank and all these big corporations. Be a little skeptical of that. Be a little skeptical of uh, a lot of corporations embracing a movement that should be 100% antithetical to what those people believe. Uh, I'm not a Marxist, and I don't agree with that. However, I have friends that are, and I, I, I understand their you know critique of capitalism. I think it's very valid. Um, I don't think any of their solutions or, or the majority of their solutions are valid. But when you start thinking about why corporations are on board with this movement and why Hollywood people are on board with this movement— um, you start realizing that is this is this the way to usher people into an even worse police state than the one that we were in before? And a police state that where you have massive surveillance technology, big tech, you know? Will the the police be just new police, potentially? I don't know. You know, I mean, this is something to think about, you know? I mean, you know, the idea that any of these corporations or any of these people that have millions and millions and tens of millions or hundreds of millions, billions of dollars are going to, you know, adopt some type of, you know, anarcho-communist reality is just not the case. However, who knows where this will go and who knows where, you know, where, you know, what form this ends up taking and what freedoms you lose in the process of thinking you are you know, being a revolutionary, what freedoms you're willing to give up. And I think that that, that becomes a real, you know, we've seen that under the guise of public health, people are willing to give up a lot of freedom. I understand that. I gave it up. I sat home. I said, hey, this is what we have to do. Um, but then you saw how contact tracing was then used against protesters, right? Tracing people's phones, who they were with, where they were. Mm -hmm. and then that was used against protesters, Keep keep in mind that these types of things aren't necessarily going away. Um, you rarely get those freedoms back that you so that you give up. And I, I think Black Lives Matter has a lot of very valuable, important things to say, and they're they're right about a lot. They're wrong about some things too. In my estimation, of course, I'm a white guy. I'm not going to believe that. I know a lot of black people that don't agree with everything they believe either. But just beware of a protest movement that is supported by all of the big corporations and Hollywood. Beware of that a little bit. At least be a little skeptical. Be on guard a little bit. Because that means that that movement's probably to some degree been co-opted. And it's 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 probably going to a place that might not be what the original intenders thought, and 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 who knows? In, in the meantime, what freedoms you lose? And my interest is in the freedom to speak freely, you know, which I think is is on the chopping block. That's going, you know. I hope that's not the case, but it certainly seems like it's the case. And that's important to me. It should be important to you, even though if it's not how you make your living. It should be important to you. You know, you should not be you should not be fired from your job for an expressing an opinion that is unpopular, or that people have decided that Black Lives Matter and J.P. Morgan Chase have decided is the right opinion to have. And if you have a different opinion, you are fired from your job. That is not a value that I think is American or, you know, uh, any, you know, there's no fairness there to me. You would, I'm not, I, I'm, I, of course, within reason. You can't walk into your job every day and be like, I, I don't think it was six million or whatever. But within reason, if you, if you know, one guy, I forget who it was, but I was just talking to somebody about it, had a gun. He said, if any of these looters get up to my house, I'm going to defend my property. And he got fired. And then Dick Wolf, you know, a big Hollywood producer was like, this is unacceptable. And, and I mean, you know, Dick Wolf made all his money with fucking cop shows, which is hilarious. But like right there, it's like, well, you're losing your ability to speak. If you're going to loot, you could say that people have freedom of speech, 
But if they lose their entire life and they're socially ostracized and they're for saying something, and by the way, not I'm going to kill somebody, not a threat, just saying I'm going to defend, like he didn't single somebody out and go, I'm going to get him. It's just saying I'm going to defend my property if people come to try to destroy it. I'm going to defend it as is my my right or what most people believe is their right. And then the guy gets fired. You go, you wonder, when does that end? When will that end? Will you always have the right opinion? Will you always be one step ahead of the mob that's requiring you to have the right opinion? Will you never slip up? Is that all of these people that try to cancel other people and they try to wield the power of this mob? Because that's what J.P. Morgan's doing. That's what all these major mega corporations are doing. They're like, let's wield the anger and use the anger of the mob and take it and make money, funnel it into something commercial, and let's support certain things, and we're going to you know, pay lip service to the movement, and then at the same time, we're going to figure out a way to brand whatever the hell we're doing and, and, and keep, it, keep our branding consistent with the values of this movement, even though what we're doing might not be in line with what they want, you know? You know, we might we'll be paying lip service to them and at the same time doing things that are not in line with, you know, what people would consider reform. So that's just, we, you always have to be skeptical. I, I don't think we, we, we live in a time of religious belief where people are really fired up and a lot, some of that is good. Passion is not a bad thing. It's something that's good. It's why a lot, it's those surfers found something to be passionate about and had great lives. But, you know, instead of doing that, uh, instead of doing the work to figure out what you are passionate about and where you see yourself and where a lot of people are just basically like, I am going to just adorn myself with slogans. You know, I don't put BLM, I don't put any of that up because I don't need to put up signs. I put the black square on Instagram up because I thought everybody was doing that. I didn't know what that was. And we found out five minutes later, it was like the CIA did it, uh, you know, for whatever reason. But I don't, I'm not always putting that stuff out there because like, I'm a human being, right? I'm not like a brand. It's like people act like they're Starbucks. Like human beings are acting like they are, like there are people that are just putting out stuff every day, almost like they are afraid of, they're like, for far too long. You know, this Ansel Elgort kid, before he got canceled, you look at his Instagram, he's like, I'm spending the day educating myself. I'm spending the day reading and figuring out what I can do. I mean, this is this is so they don't come get you. How did it work, Ansel? How did it work? Did it not work? As the great Charles Grodin and Clifford said, has something happened? It's, it's, it's just to quell the mob. You go, I'm, I'm spending my day educating myself. Myself. I'm going to stop carving swastikas into my arm for the day. <laughs> and I'm going to start educating myself. And figuring out what I can do. And, and I don't mean any of that because I'm going to the beach. But I'm putting it on social media. Don't come for me, please. Don't. That's what it is. You can do those things. You can just do those things. But there's a weird vibe now where you walk down the street and you see BLM and it's painted on the outside of a business and it's painted because they don't want to brick through the window. Right. That's why it's painted there. It's just a strange thing. Oh, I have to say, I have to put these letters on the outside of my business unless something's going to happen. I got to put it out there. And it's and that and that's odd to me. And that that feeling is strange 
where like you have to you have to agree to all of these things under the threat of violence and that that's being backed by mega corporations something to think about doesn't mean the police are not out of control does not mean police do not need serious reforms doesn't mean you can't take some of their money and put it into uh, things that will, will will decrease inequality. Doesn't mean the elites of this country aren't the real looters, which they are. Doesn't mean they haven't created this situation by, you know, fucking defunding everything and hollowing every institution out and creating a separate economic system and a separate justice system. I mean, all of that is true. All of that is 100% true. But... I still feel very uncomfortable with this idea that people can just be fired from their job and lose everything because they express an opinion, you know, that is pretty mainstream, which is like, I'm going to defend my property. It's a pretty mainstream opinion. Well, no, Tim, that's not the real issue. The real issue is the, the elites. Yeah, sure. But if that was you and you lost your fucking job, that would be a real issue to you. You know, I mean, that's a fact. You, you know, and I, I get accused all the time. People are like, but are you saying that that the SJWs have as much power as Exxon Mobil? No, but that doesn't mean you can't criticize something that's absurd or that's it's going to an absurd place. That's what I'm saying. I'm just, it's, it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable to walk down the street and see boarded up stores with BLM spray painted on the outside so that they don't get bricks through the window or they're not burned down. This is why. And I know some of the people that own these businesses are like, well, this is just what we got to have up there. It, it doesn't sit well with anybody that has any interest in civil society. And if people don't have an interest in civil society, and many of them don't, if they don't have an interest in civil society, just know that we're going to have a civil war and maybe you win and maybe you don't. But we're going to have serious violence and, uh, you know, it's it, and the state is going to clamp down on everybody and that's when they introduce a police state, a total surveillance state, when we have total chaos. So the, the, the forces that are marching us toward total chaos, this is what I was trying to get to, the people that are bringing us towards total chaos, on both sides, by the way, the people that want that chaos, that hunger for it, that long for it, are they so stupid, do they think they're going to win, or do some of those people know what will come next, which will be a police state, a surveillance state, and the government will use this as an excuse to do a lot of things they've probably always wanted to do. You know, and that that's when I when I look around I see that. I see that we're heading towards a place where society is going to be even more closed. People are afraid to say anything and it's just a bad situation and if that's the only if we if we don't speak to each other and we don't want to Talk to each other. The only thing left is violence. And so many people right now think that's a good idea. They think it's just a time for violence and that we've exhausted all speech. Okay. Listen, that's fine. If you think that, you believe that, you, you know, you've given up on the whole idea of any type of society. You want to just get rid of it. Great. But... Know what you're doing. Know that there will be a society that will emerge from the ruins of whatever happens, and it will not, it will be less free than it is now. Dramatically less free.